morning, good morning, everybody. Turn this on. It's probably better. Better on my hands. I can't hear myself so much. We'll see if someone pops up. I know it's early. It's 6.41 in the morning. On my way to work. Beautiful day. Whoever just popped out, let me know I'm good with volume, and then I'll go straight ahead. Give me thumbs up, yes, no. How do I sound? Good morning, Danielle. How do you? How do I sound? Do I sound good? <clears throat> no vacation. No, I'm vacation next week. My my wife's got the kids. She's a blessed woman this week. She gets the kids all by herself. I get to go to work, but next week would be great. I get to spend time with my wife all. Um, all week by ourselves. So, Align Our Heart Part 3. Uh, I wasn't going to, I was going to go do something different. Well, I don't know if I was going to do something different, but this will probably just be pretty quick. I just wanted to, um, I had a conversation with a, uh, a friend yesterday, and uh, I'm not going to tell, say the name or anything, because uh, I didn't ask permission, but this person shared with me how, what I was, what I spoke to him uh, about you know, things in your heart, and sometimes you don't even know that they're there, and you know how I've, uh, I've told everyone, or I've, I guided, I give examples, okay, ask the Lord, get quiet, and see if the Lord reveals anything to you, right? Well, he says he did that, and he didn't hear anything, but this, this, this person hears the Lord, he, he knows the word, he's been, <laughs> his, his, this person's life has been transformed in a dramatic way. It's just so... And I feel like I, I talked to the person for 45 minutes. I feel like I've known them for my whole life. Um, you just know that there's a, a connection there that's probably going to be a lifetime connection in some way or some sort. So, this, he said he didn't... Uh, the Lord didn't to tell him anything. But he said that this is what I wanted to bring up for people. Because if it happened to him, most likely it happened to other people. You, maybe you didn't hear anything, but he said, because of his past, he said he drove by a police officer and he saw a police officer on the side of the road, and I forgot what he called it, but and he started getting bad feelings. Like he started making up a thing in his head and he started judging that police officer. He started, um, just you know how sometimes you. You go into a rant in your head over absolutely nothing. He, he was totally at peace. He was fine. And then all of a sudden he sees a police officer and he starts judging that person. And then the Lord revealed to him saying, hey, see, you have something in your heart because of what happened in your past. How you reacted to that police officer just standing on the side of the road or, or in his car. He made a judgment and he was so judgmental and angry towards that person, towards the police officer. He doesn't even know the person. But because of his past, it brought things up in his heart that he that were suppressed. So the action, so his reaction to something showed him, the Lord said, hey, look, look what's in your heart because of how you reacted to a situation. You know? So if you're not, if you're, if you're having trouble hearing the Lord, when you're asking, okay, what's in my heart? And you're not hearing anything. Ha, don't don't start taking every single action. You know how you react, and start going inward. I'm not telling you to do that, but I'm saying he was having a dialogue in his head, getting angry over nothing. I know this person's been set free for so long, but there's still something in his heart, and the Lord was showing him that. So what I'm saying to everyone that when you when you hear this today. How do you react to a certain situation? Okay, if you react to a certain situation and it really stirs up anger or something in your heart or um, you just get really short for no reason, there's a reason, there's a root to the issue. And we try to mask the root sometimes by just putting it on a good face. We can also just use our mouth. Yes, I believe death and life are power and tongue. We start just confessing and we just start saying words out. And that's all good. But what's the root issue? You want to know what the root is. Because when you take the root out, 
it's like crabgrass. You get one, one, one blade of crabgrass and it spreads everywhere. So that root of unbelief or that root of anger that he had towards that police officer can spread to the way you parent your children, the way you go to work. Okay, because when stressful situations come, the devil now has a place for to put his finger on, and when he presses that button, he knows you're going to go off. Because in Hebrews uh, three twelve it says, "Beware, brethren, lest there be any of you an evil heart of unbelief in departing from the living God." You can have unbelief. It's unbelief towards God, unbelief towards yourself. I was I was in this morning quiet and the Lord said to me you still have some unbelief towards yourself so I gave the Lord my unbelief towards myself and I wasn't upset I was just very grateful and thankful that he actually revealed that to me and I move on and I receive his love you get the more the more the more you get rid of this stuff in your heart the more love and more grace you can receive from him it's a simple thing but it takes diligence because Hebrews 11 says, those who diligently seek the Lord, okay, when you diligently seek Him, you will be rewarded. You will be, you'll be rewarded. It it, it takes some effort. It's just not going to automatically happen, okay? So if you're listening, you probably want your heart cleansed out because it's, it's it's a lot better when you're living in freedom and you're not messed up in your head all the time and in your heart and reacting like a a cycle all the time you know I I used to get angry over everything short over everything and now the more that I kind of let this stuff go like I used to have to have to have the house clean all the time all the time had to be perfect and if it wasn't in perfect order you know I'd take it out on my kids and my wife and I'm gonna think to myself why am I gonna take it out on them because I want it if I want it that way then that's my own issue so that means I should have to keep it all in order. I'm not saying it should be a pigsty, but like, like you just have stuff all over it. Pigsty, sty, I don't know what it is. I, I always get it wrong. My wife makes it fun of me. But what I'm saying is, if there's stuff that is bothering you, bring it, bring, write it down. So to take, a, you know, go throughout the day today. How do you react to when a person talks to you? Write it down, bring it to the Lord and ask Him why. And I almost can guarantee it, He'll start really well because of this you know it could be 5 10 15 years ago that's why you're reacting so now you can get that root out and trust me the devil doesn't want you to get the root out okay he does not want you to get the root out when you get the root out the God, lord will flood your heart love will start to flow in there you start to live in more peace okay heart is huge guys it is huge you know because we want to cut off I want to cut off my, my, my bitterness, my anger, or my unbelief and like not feeling good enough. I want to cut that off now so it's not passed down to the next generation. That's how it stopped. It stopped through the blood of Jesus, absolutely. But if, if we continue to live the same life and not take, and we're not stewards of our own heart, and we're not stewards of what he's given us, things are going to change in our generations. And that's the whole point, is, is we're, we're building a foundation for our kids, kids, kids. You know, we're plowing ground for them. I'm only a second generation. You know, besides my father, we're basically in the same place. I mean, we both got born again at the same time. But I want to build a foundation for my children to have healthy hearts, healthy lifestyles. I'm sorry, I should block this up somehow. Um, so they can, you know, manifest the kingdom more than I can ever, ever could. And that's, that's my, uh, that's my uh, really my dream, is to plow some ground for them so they can take it further so look out throughout the day um don't keep, don't get mad at yourself actually be joyful if something comes up and you react in a certain way that you don't like the way you react and and, and thank god that he's revealing stuff to you ask him to reveal it to you so if you haven't heard him see it in your actions okay because i know if i see it in my actions i can bring it to him no, that's just a simple thing if you're having trouble hearing that. Okay? So I just want to bless you with that. Uh, have a great day. He loves you. He's not mad at you. But he wants your heart. He wants all of you. He doesn't want 50% of you. He wants all of you. And when you go all in, you go all in, okay, he's going to meet you. He'll meet you where you are. But if you're not going all in with him, 
you're going to be disappointed because he can't give you everything he wants to give you because he knows that you're not all in. And I'm not, and all in is different for everybody, but all in means, Jesus, you're my life and you need to be the guiding, you need to guide my life. And that's not saying you need to be super holy and be perfect all the time, but I'm saying you need to surrender things to him and give things to, give things to him and be honest with yourself. You need, really need to be honest with yourself. Okay. And say, where am I? Where am I with my walk, my Lord? You might just be getting the walk with the Lord, and that's awesome. Okay? But he, it'll, as time goes on, you're going to want to, he's, he's going to want, okay, now we, we took care of that. Well, let's take care of this. Now, if you haven't, if you haven't progressed, there's a progression, you see. You give him one thing, and then he's going to, because he can't do everything all at once. It's impossible. He's going to take one thing at a time. It's, it's not a works, but it does take work on your part, I would say. I don't like to use the word work because then we get into performance orientation because a lot of it comes from performance. But it takes, I'd say, your yielding. That's what I like. Your yielding, your surrender of what's in your heart, what's in your life. And if it's not godly, turn it over to Him. Okay? Because there's no fruit in it anyway. If it's not godly and it's not you, it's not progressing or making His kingdom better, it's useless, and there's no fruit attached to that. We want fruit, right? So you make the tree good, and the fruit will happen. But if the roots aren't good, you're not going to bear good fruit. Okay? You don't have to make the fruit. The fruit will happen when you become a good tree. When you become a good tree, when your roots are rooted and grounded in His love, in His grace, and His forgiveness, and you're yielding to Him... Your roots are going to go deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper into Him. You will bear more fruit than you could possibly imagine. It will just happen. The doors will open. Favor will begin to manifest in your life beyond anything you could imagine. And that's the way the kingdom works. Because one little seed produces a tree. So one tr- one little seed of unbelief also can actually shrivel up those roots. Okay? Have a great day. Love you, everyone. Hope this blesses uh, you guys. Comment below. Um, let me know if this is speaking to you because it, it's encouraging. If you know, I get one person. I talked to one person yesterday. How how it just you know, I, it just it makes you like okay, I am hearing the Lord because sometimes I doubt myself still. Sometimes is this really is this me or is this Him? But it's encouraging when you hear comments saying, yeah, this is speaking to me. It's good stuff. Okay, always encourage your pastors and stuff. Trust me, they're going through more than you think. Okay? So bless and thank them. If, if they bless you and you're encouraged by them, I always like to thank my thank people that are encouraging to me because that's what we should be. We should be encouraging one, one another. You know what I mean? That's what we want to do. Okay? Love you guys. I love this group. I'm praying for you every day. You're on my prayer list. And uh, God loves you. You're blessed and you're highly favored and you're amazing. You're forgiven. 100%, per- 100% forgiven. Receive it today. Tell yourself I'm forgiven. Tell yourself you're loved and you're worthy because you are. If you don't think you are, begin to say it because I thought for the longest time I'm not worthy. When you begin to believe you're worthy, your life changes and you begin to walk in joy from the inside out and people say things to you, it doesn't hurt you anymore. It's a, it's a fun place to be. I go to work and these kids are swearing at me all day and I kind of just laugh at them. But it's I feel bad for them because they're in a bad place. But uh, bless you. Have a great day.